<laughs> oh, there's a fish. That's a good one. Fish all. Yes, sir. What's up, everybody? What's up, y'all? Today we are at the beach and perfect time. We are early spring and we want to do a really quick tutorial for you guys on how to catch fish right here from the beach. That's right, y'all. So, Christy and I were at our favorite pier and in the springtime, these fish will start to run the beach from south to north. And when the water temperature hits like low to mid 50s, it is one of the most fun bites, especially in our area, North Carolina, Virginia. But this happens really everywhere. So no matter where y'all at, this video can help y'all. But we really wanna do this video because this is a really special time of year for us in our fishery, Outer Banks, Virginia Beach. The speckled trout and redfish, but really the speckled trout are running the beaches. So today, Christy and I, we're gonna show y'all a quick little tutorial on how to maximize on this bite because this happens from like early to mid April and it goes on through the whole entire summer but when that water temperature hits that mid 50s and right at 60s these speckled trout get on the move this is where you can catch some of the biggest speckled trout of your life y'all this is such a fun bite Christy and I we started doing this really about two years ago and we wanted to do this video for y'all because not a lot of people are familiar with how fun beach fishing is with Dang, these artificials nice and with your trout rods just right off the beach again we're posted up right near this pier because what i want to talk about is really like where to locate these fish when you're specifically targeting the speckled trout and redfish which are running these beaches chasing bait we're actually seeing dolphins right out front chasing a bunch of bait right now but we're going to do this quick tutorial for y'all so 15 pound leader line sometimes we like to go a little bit lighter eight pound test because like right now the water is like really clear uh coming out of winter time the water is typically going to be for salt water the clearest because you don't have as much of like the algae growth so the water's really clear so we're going to sometimes use only eight pound test leader line um and i actually cheated because this is actually regular fluorocarbon just main line for like bass fishing but we use this for leader line so a little cheat there to save y'all some money and so quarter ounce jig heads a quarter ounce is all you need because these fish, they're literally gonna be right past the shore break. So right past the shore break, you have that initial trough. I don't know if y'all have ever tried to go swimming or surfing right next to a pier or just anywhere up and down the beach, but as soon as you get into the water, there's that initial drop off. That's where the speckled trout are typically gonna be. The other quick thing we wanted to talk about is these trout are running from typically like Moorhead City uh, Noose River area, Pamlico Sound from the Outer Banks. So they run out of uh, Okacroke Inlet. They run out of like around uh, the hook at um, Moorhead City, Shark Island and all that. And they come up here. So typically the first bite you're gonna hear about is gonna be like the Nags Head area. And then you'll, as soon as you hear about them catching speckled trout and Nags Head, we'll be catching them here off of all of our beaches. And it's just a really cool bite. You know, speckled trout, there's two classes of speckled trout. You're typically gonna have your residential speckled trout, and then you're gonna have your migratory speckled trout. These are the migratory speckled trout that are coming from the Moorhead City area in south, and they're coming up these beaches, and they come to spawn up in the Chesapeake Bay. So it's just a really fun bite. When that water temperature hits like low to mid 50, that's when y'all wanna really keep an eye on it. And just these lower wind days like this, you can get longer casts that's where you really want to target quarter ounce jig head is all you need throw it out and fish it the same exact way that you would normally fish in your backwaters check this out christy's actually going to show y'all how to do it so just before we wrap just last things i want to show y'all is what do we like to use christy z-man all right so kind of one of our favorite if you guys want to use berkeley gulp uh seriously these fish will tear up some berkeley gulp you guys will catch them all day long this is all we have in our tackle box. But really these three. Seriously, I just bring out we just bring out one or two packs. Lately we're really into the Z-Man, especially if you guys have a little bit of Procure. Um, if you guys have pinfish, any Manhattan, pro really anything, shrimp, seriously, any of the Procure to pair it up with your Z-Man will get it done. Check it um, out. They're doing beach replenishment here. So for fishing, again, you guys are fishing the exact same way that you would for your inshore waterways. It's kind of crazy. Here, let's walk down the so pier. So we're gonna kind of go down here again. We got a lot of noise, they're doing beach replenishment. All right, let's go down to the pier. We'll show them how to, 
had a fish right next to the pier. So you guys, these trout, they'll run up the beaches and these piers act as like a natural jetty. So you're also gonna have typically a lot of like deeper sloughs and troughs around these piers. So this is where you wanna target. You typically wanna target the south end of a pier. So you typically wanna target the south end of the pier because these trout are running from south to north and this is where they're gonna be corralling their bait is really right here in this pocket, typically. Show us how easy it is. <laughs> you guys can see like the natural lay of the land right behind me and the gradient of the sand. It's starting to slope down, which is kind of creating this trough right here that runs kind of as a big old funnel and channel, a highway for these fish. So we know that if there's a sandbar, those fish are probably gonna be between the sandbar and the beach. So when there's breakers, you guys wanna try and cast past the breakers but before that sandbar. So we're gonna kinda or you want to so actually so like christy's doing right now she's throwing you want to throw up on the second sandbar so the way it works is you'll have the initial drop off and then you'll have like the second sandbar which is going to be like halfway out of this pier so you want to throw up onto that sandbar and work it into the trough these trout are typically going to be on that second sandbar in the trough or right past these breakers super easy you guys get your line out there to that second sandbar you guys want to obviously reel down your slack it's gonna kind of be hard as the waves are breaking so just make sure that your line is nice and tight it's literally the exact same way you guys are gonna be working your bait for inshore waters you're gonna work it the same so if you guys want to switch up uh, your cadence and your retrieve I like to do a lot of pops but you really want to let it sink and then you're gonna pop it working it the same reel down that slack maybe give it a second and pop it up or if you guys just want a steady retrieve, especially for these minnow Zs, they've got such great action in the tail. If you guys just do a slow retrieve, it's gonna look like a natural bait fish just swimming in the water. Um, typically, I like my rod tip up. You also don't need to cast it too far out. Casting distance always, always helps, but a lot of these trout, again, they're just gonna be literally like right here in this area. Yeah, it's crazy. You guys won't even believe how close to the shore that these fish are coming up to feed on bait fish. The other day when Jeff and I were out here, there's literally fish 10 feet in front of us. So we were doing this crazy long cast, but these fish were just stacked up right on the shoreline, and they would literally pick it up right when my lure was right here in front of me. Y'all, spring fishing for speckled trout off of the beach is one of the most fun ways to do it. Trust me, you have to try it. So this is how a lot of times you're gonna catch that 10 pound speckled trout. These are the migratory speckled trout, the ones that are spawning, so they're typically gonna be the larger ones. In our fishery, we have two classes of speckled trout, migratory and residential. Residential still get big, but the migratory, that's gonna be your big mamma jammas. That's right here, make sure, is the sound good? It's good. All right, so like Jeff said, since we are here in Virginia Beach and these trout are coming from Nags Head, when you guys are fishing up here, always try the south side first because those fish are probably gonna be stacked up on that side. So if you're not getting a bite on one side, just switch to the other side of the pier. The north side usually will be in the fall run when those fish are going back south. Um, but right now in the spring run, definitely try uh, the south side of the pier when you guys are casting first. Maybe those trout are gonna be stacked up right alongside those pilings, so. That's it, y'all. Super <laughs> easy. Get to the beach. Outer Banks is closed right now, but Virginia Beach, anywhere up and down the East Coast right now. Fish are on the move. We got the mullet run about to be happening. And hopefully you guys are doing well during the quarantine. Yep. Hopefully y'all like these tutorial videos. <laughs> That's all we got. Seriously, it's that easy. Go to the beach, have some waders, stay warm because the water's pretty dang cold. Throw the line in the water. Grab your trout rod, your bass rods. That's right. Grab your choice lure or your live bait and you guys can catch fish all day long. No need to be stuck inside during the quarantine. Y'all don't even need a boat, don't need a kayak, just need your feet and good old pole. That's right, y'all. <laughs> super, super easy. The last thing that I'll say, is you do because it's the wide open ocean. So this beach, you know, goes for miles and miles and miles. Sometimes it helps to fish with a friend or if you have a group of friends that 
people are like at the next pier that's north or south or wherever that always helps too because sometimes the bite's just going to be happening just like in your intercoastal waterways same exact thing just like you're going to be looking for in your intercoastal waterways and flats like an oyster bed um a drop off a slough same exact thing on the beach i promise y'all y'all will love it it's really easy and it feels really weird feels really weird just throwing your artificials your jigs into the ocean but it works striped bass redfish speckled trout seriously it's awesome yep all right you guys spring run for these fish is gonna be game on it's gonna be fire here right here in virginia beach and just literally any day now so we're excited outer banks is already on fire we're about to be next y'all grab your rods get out and fish thanks so much for watching would love your support go ahead and hit that subscribe button drop us a line below hopefully you guys are doing well see you guys next time all right y'all <laughs> deuces